I think I'm finally ready to give you guys my review of One Punch Man. Let's get into it. What is good everybody, Richie here, and welcome back to the channel. Before we dive right into things, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're somebody new, and go ahead and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my shenanigans here on the channel. And yeah, so let's get into it. My review of One Punch Man. Well, sort of. So, as uh, if, you know, for some reason, some of you guys who follow me on the channel, uh, I was going to attempt to do a review of One Punch Man, so to speak. I was going to uh, talk about the anime and uh, sort of give you guys a few of my impressions of it. It's, I, I cannot believe I slept on this uh, anime for so long. A lot of my friends were telling me uh, for years that I should watch it and... You know, it's it's kind of critically acclaimed. It has a you know a cult following, and and I always knew that it was probably good, but I just never got around to it. And I don't know. I was bored one day, and I was looking on Netflix, and you know Netflix has like a lot of shovelware, and they got a lot of good stuff too. But so I remember seeing One Punch Man, and I was like, you know what? Maybe maybe this time I'll give it a shot. And so I did. And I don't regret it because I watched the entire show uh, in about in less than a few hours, um, the whole first season, straight through without stopping. Um, yeah, I can't. It, it's really hard for me to like get into anime because a lot of animes they have like this uh, very deep backstory that you got to get involved in. And this one does not. It's just straightforward. Uh, literally like straightforward gut punch one punch whatever you want to call it pun fully intended um, I enjoyed every single moment of it so immediately after I watched the first season I went and purchased uh, on blu-ray season 2 um, on Amazon and it came probably within a few days and I went I blew through that in about a few hours as well and now I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking to myself, why have I not watched this anime? Like, what has, what, what has, where has this anime been all my life? Why did I not get around to it sooner? But I mean, I don't know. Hopefully they come up with the season three. Uh, I don't watch, I don't uh, read manga or anything like that. So uh, if any of you guys do. Uh, you you know you feel free to let me know if you guys think that there's going to be a third season. I really hope there is. Um, I'm just starting to wonder at what point uh, will this show, if they continue it, become less interesting. I mean, I love the fact that Saitama ha has reached a point in being a superhero that he just does not care and he would rather do like normal stuff which i think is a really brilliant take on on an anime protagonist because the anime protagonist is always trying to become more powerful or trying to you know defeat the final foe and sidem is already there and he does not seem to care about much of anything except for you know finding the little intricacies in life that make him happy like playing video games or going to the grocery store um doing just normal uh person stuff but i don't know i love the anime and this figure that i'm opening up as we speak is absolutely brilliant the, very rarely do i ever see very rarely do i ever see an anime i've been watching anime for years you know i i was i'm your typical dragon ball z fan none of the characters in dragon ball z have ever got me or have never had me so intrigued there's only two anime characters in the entire realm of anime that have ever got me so invested in what makes them tick and who they are and how interesting they are as a character uh except for saitama and ren goku from demon slayer immediately after i watched the mugen train movie i went on uh, the internet and i bought a um 
a Rengoku like limited edition statue. It's not even released yet. It was it was around like eighty five dollars, and that comes out I think next month. So I should be getting that shipped to me. Um, and yeah, as soon as I finished watching uh, One Punch Man, I immediately got on the internet and bought myself a uh, this figure that you see before you. Um, as I said, I I'm, I'm so passionate about anime. Uh, if I'm, I'm so, so passionate about anime, and I'm always looking for suggestions, so if any of you uh, know a good anime, feel free to leave it down in the comments below, and maybe I'll check it out. I really, uh, I'm, I'm super interested in getting to, uh, getting, getting into more, like, animes with really good stories. So far, my favorites of all time, of all time, are uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Soul Eater, uh, and One Punch Man. Demon Slayer is slowly starting to ease its way in there, although I will stand by the fact that I was not a huge fan of it the first season. I thought the first season was lame. I'm totally okay with the fact that the first season I will come to terms with. I don't think I'll ever really like the first season. The entertainment, the entertainment district arc is was so, so good. Uzui Tengen is... Oh, he's so amazing. Um, I, I'm starting to really fall in love with Demon Slayer. Season 1 did not get me. It did not pull me in. Uh, it was very lackluster in my opinion. The final the final few episodes were okay. Uh, I thought the meeting of the Hashira was not very interesting. I, I don't know. It just, it just seemed like the first season they couldn't tell where to put comedic purpose or I, I i don't know it's just like is it supposed to be serious moment or is it supposed to be funny it's like i i, I can't i feel like the writers of the show or the people that are doing it they just they're having a difficult time placing where comedic timing should be the muscle mice in the entertainment district arc were freaking hilarious absolutely hysterical how they would just pop up at random and they just show off their muscles and stuff and oh so brilliant absolutely brilliant chef's kiss brilliant but anyway um but yeah getting back to one punch man i love it it's it's literally my favorite basically one of my fam favorite animes of all time and uh yeah so as i said before if you guys know of any good animes feel free to leave them down in the comments maybe i'll check them out Eh, but what do I know? Anyways, guys, that's the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening and watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.